Hey everyone, it's Tara. So today I have to make um, an envelope for this never-ending art card I made for a swap. Um, I thought I had an envelope that I could use, but it turned out to be a little bit too small. So I'm just going to use a piece of scrapbook paper and the little envelope punch board scoreboard thingy I have. Um, I put my art card in the middle. It shows you the sizes, and I need the A2 size, I think it was, which is 8.5 by 8.5, so I just have to cut that scrapbook paper down to size. I just use a piece of scrapbook paper um, because I don't really like white paper and I basically cover up the entire pattern of the scrapbook paper but it just makes me feel better and I don't really like that paper so just using it to get rid of it go get out of here get so yeah. anyway I'm just um, measuring out the paper to the eight and a half by eight and a half size and uh, I cut it with my paper cutter obviously and and then when I go to line it up with the A2 size on the scoreboard, it's a little off. I don't know. I guess I'm terrible at measuring, but I make it work. It's just not going to be like completely straight. Anyway, this envelope punch board thingy, I guess it's not a punch board, but the envelope scoreboard is kind of my favorite thing ever. Um, you can make any piece of paper into an envelope and it's great. It's really, really great. So yeah, um, I'm just going to cut out the little triangles when you make the score lines um, it crosses over and you just cut out each triangle and then you fold your envelope pretty simple right pretty great pretty easy yep I love it so yeah um, I fold the envelope and then I glue the sides to put it together by answer yep and then I just um, push the sides together so it's nice and glued and now it's time to get collaging so for this um, I pulled out a ton of scraps and stuff when I made the never ending art card and um, instead of putting them away because I'm lazy I decided to just make an envelope out of all the scraps that I pulled out um, I don't end up using all of them or even half of them I'd say but it's just it better for me instead of just like putting stuff away to use it because I have so much stuff and I just want to use it all you know I just want to get rid of it and then I'll have to buy more or find more you know, never ending cycle, but I just like using stuff. So that always works for me whenever I pull out a bunch of stuff and just try to use it all up or majority of it. And it also works because the never ending art card had kind of like that blue, yellow, black color combo themey dealy going on. So I pulled out all of those scraps and then my envelope kind of matches and coordinates with the never ending art card. So, you know, makes it seem like you have your life together. It's kind of cool. Um, for all of these scraps, uh, they're just really random washi tape, that Maker's Magazine thing that I talked about in my last video. It's like a paper company that sends out a monthly, quarterly magazine. I think it's a quarterly magazine. I don't get it anymore. I kind of want to resubscribe to it, but, you know, whatever. I'm lazy. But yeah, all of my scraps, you know, I've had for years and years and years. And look at me here, ripping this stupid moth thing. Um, this image came out of like a really old book. So the pages were really, really thin. The paper is super, super thin. I'm always trying to be really careful when I'm using a glue stick using that um, because it just rips and that happened there. And it really kind of messed up my placement on the envelope where I wanted the moth. I wanted it kind of higher up but it ended up being a little bit lower than I than I wanted because I had to paste it in two parts and I wasn't really considering how it looked like that. And yeah, and then I get to work on the back side and I just kind of incorporate the same elements and stuff from the front on the back. When I'm working on the top flap, I like, well, when I'm working on the back, I like to keep the top flap down just so I don't kind of like repeat the same like papers that I'm using or kind of like design I guess and just kind of keep both unique in their own little way and then I can also see where the top flap comes down and what images will show through and what won't so that's a little tip I definitely recommend doing if you're working if you're collaging a back back of an envelope try to see how it looks when it's actually closed because that's how you're going to be mailing it and yeah, that's the finished product there. I really like how this turned out. I'm really happy with it. And um, yeah, I had a lot of fun making it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.